From our state capitol newsroom tonight, after some bipartisan pushback, Governor Bill Lee is defending his plan to expand charter schools as well as his administration's controversial relationship with Hillsdale College. News 2's Gerald Harris has more. We want charter school operators in this state from all over the country. It's one of Governor Lee's most direct pitches for the expansion of charter schools in the state of Tennessee. Any high quality charter school operator that wants to locate in the state, we want them to consider that. And the 50th governor of Tennessee is defending his education agenda. We have 22 operators, we have 116 charters that educate 44,000 kids. 91% of those kids are minority students that come from many of them from difficult uh, zip codes and neighborhoods in our state. We need to give them and we should make certain that we give the parents who choose that public school option for their kids. Democrats say they're not buying it. 37% of charter schools perform below 5% success. 77% perform below 10% success and they're cherry picking students. Representative Gloria Johnson, a former public school teacher and a Knoxville Democrat, says Governor Lee's plan is a bad idea for communities. When we proliferate charters, charter schools get paid first. And so when that happens, you're going to get what's left and charter schools eat up a whole lot of dollars. You've seen it in the Nashville budget when the comptroller's office looked at that. The comptroller's office will tell you the charter schools aren't a good dollar bet. Lee is also defending his relationship with Hillsdale College, a private Michigan school with a network of charters that's been accused of misrepresenting United States history. I think that's why there'll be a vetting process for them through the State Department of Education. Uh, my, my obligation is to attract high quality charter management organizations. Tennesseans don't want it and they certainly don't want that partnership with Hillsdale. Tennessee is set to spend about $9.4 billion this year on education and $9 billion in subsequent years if the governor's budget passes. Gerald Harris, News 2. And after three years, districts will have to match 30% of those state funds, and some say that could force a property tax hike.